They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you're royal, you're rebel, you're more than one together. However you go, ever and ever after. Hey. Cedar, have you heard anything from the girls since they left for the party? I was just in the woods. Don't worry, Dad. Blondie Locks and her friends won't be back here anytime soon. That's my boy. Blondie? Why would she be in the dark forest? Weird, because she went to the enchanted forest with Ashley, Poppy, and Cupid. <gasps> They're in the wrong forest! They must have taken the wrong path. I say we pitch in and do something about it. Come on! How much longer are we going to wait for Baba Yaga? She's bound to show up soon. We just have to be patient and think positive thoughts. Well, I'm positive I'm done waiting. This is an emergency. How do you work this thing? <laughs> wow. Baba Yaga's office, forward. <laughs> hey, this is easier than I thought. <laughs> and I was trapped in that bottle all night. <laughs> Raven Queen, <laughs> have you been driving this room without my permission? Uh, well, I... I like it! <laughs> Give in to your dark side. It's an excellent start. But I did it because our friends, well, they're lost in the dark forest. They need our help. Say no more! Hold on! Field trip to the dark! Thank you. Oh no, where's the caramel? Who are you? You don't work here. You just keep plugging away, haircut boy. Don't mind me. Hey there, aren't you Faybel Thorne, the head cheerleader at Ever After High? What are you doing working? I'm not working. See, I just snuck in here to snoop around, get some info. You catch my drift? But why? Oh, you know, only because my mom is the dark fairy, the one who wasn't invited to Sleeping Beauty's big birth bash. So she cursed the poor sweet babe to sleep for a hundred years. I just want to fulfill my destiny as the baddest fairy of them all. So how about it, handsome? Lend a girl a hand. Handsome? Uh, oh no. I would delight in assisting you in your quest, fair yeah. maiden. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, hey there, little fella. An invitation? I wonder who it's from. Ashlyn Ella. You and a guest are cordially invited to the Blue Moon Forest Fest. Tonight, the Forest Fest? <gasps> That's like the most exclusive party ever. You can't even find it without an invitation. It says I get to invite someone. Do you want to go? Of course, but the new multi-hex theater opens tonight, and I promised I'd see a movie with daring. <laughs> but it should be easy finding someone. I mean, who wouldn't kill to be your plus one to the Blue Moon Forest Fest? <gasps> Looks like it's time to crash the biggest party ever after. I always oh, get to go to that <laughs> One large coffee thing with caramel stuff and some whip whatever on the house. And wouldn't you know, 
It's always been my biggest dream to go to a forest fest. Oh, well, I was hoping I could go. Wait, if you're here, then... <gasps> Wanted to pick me up, not to knock me over. Shouldn't we have gotten there by now? It seems like we've been walking for hours. It's so dark in here, I can't even tell if it's day or night. I know what time it is. It's time to eat. I'm starved. Oh, I'm a hexpert when it comes to finding food in the forest. In fact, I know a place close to here. Follow me! Ta-da! A gingerbread house. This is perfect. Come on, guys. Just break a piece right off the outside. Ew, gross. That stuff's dirty. Let's see what's inside. This is good, yeah? My you girls, go find your own gingerbread house! No. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Muppet's frozen yogurt bar. It's way tasty. Pull up a tub and then relax. I just wanted to tell them about the free web access. Ow. Don't worry, guys. I know the family that lives here, and they just love me. Hello? It's Blondie <gasps> What do we do? Just ignore her. Maybe she'll go away. Oh, they must not be home. Oh. Hi, guys. Oh, uh, hello, Blondie Locks. What a pleasure. Maybe we should be moving on. It was very lovely meeting all of you. What are you talking about? My friends are really hungry. Would you guys have some porridge by any chance? Why, of course. We always have porridge. And offering it up to a girl who broke into our house would, I suppose, be the polite thing to do. Enough already! She already broke my bed. She broke my chair. I can't take it anymore. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Well, that was awkward. Should have let me do all the talking. I'm telling you, those bears really love me. and ever after high, and time for the cooking class's big fall bake sale. Treats and sweets, step right up, all for a good cause. Don't get it. We're running out of gingerbread houses, but not running out of customers. Mm. Isn't it perfect? I could watch cooking class all day. So clean, so efficient, <gasps> the perfect picture. We really need more! Perfectly imperfect. That's more like it. This is for the yearbook. People would remember us like this. Yeah. Interesting. The bake sale. They need more gingerbread upstairs. Like now! But we only have one left. I have an idea. A duplication spell. How can we help with out using Raven's magic. Uh, nothing personal, it's just not always, you know, um... <laughs> uh, safe. Hey, I got this. <gasps> Uh-oh. Ah! <gasps> <gasps> I do not got this. <laughs> we cannot have disorder in the kitchen. If you are here, you are here to help. It was 
was the most successful fundraiser ever after. But only the beginning of Raven and Apple's disagreements over the yearbook. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different ending. Sometimes you gotta find it on your own. It's an open.